Welcome to the Raven Space Daily, where every day we talk about the Baltimore Ravens on the Raven Space YouTube page. Thank you guys so much for joining me, and I'm ready to talk about the Baltimore Ravens. And today we're going to have three topics. Topic number one is the work that Ozzy Newton needs to do in order to improve the Ravens' offense. Topic number two is whether the Baltimore Ravens have to draft a wide receiver in the first round of this year's draft. And topic number three are the NFL needs after the first two weeks of the offseason. So uh, we'll jump right in and keep this episode short. So please subscribe below so you never miss an episode and like and comment so I can know what you guys feel about it. So thank you so much. So the first thing we're going to start with is uh, what work Ozzie Newsom needs to do in order to improve the offense. So uh, as we all know, our defense uh, improved this offseason with the signing of Brandon Carr as a corner and uh, Jefferson as a safety. However, uh, our offense got worse. We lost Kyle Juszczyk and we lost Ricky Wagner. And what this means is that we got weaker in two areas that the Ravens wanted to get stronger this year. Um, we got worse on the offensive line and we got worse at the running back position. So our run game, which was bad last year, is currently on track to be even worse next year. So Ozzie has to find a way to fix it. Now, one of the ways that Ozzie can fix it is trying to go through free agency. But with all the good players who can actually make a large difference uh, gone, it seems to only be one choice in order to fix the offense, and that's by going through the draft. And this uh, this bums me out a little bit because there's a lot of great cornerback talent in the draft, and I wanted to get you know a first round corner, but I don't think that's going to happen. I think that we're going to use the later rounds to get a corner, and the first round has to be used on offense. And there's two main parts of the offense that the Ravens must look at. The first is offensive line, and the second is wide receiver. So we'll, we'll see what, what Ozzy does, but he does have a lot of work to do on the offense. Um, and it, it disappoints me because, you know, in the league that we are now, you got to have a good offense in order to win a championship. Uh, you don't have to be, you know, the greatest offense to have a chance, but you got to be able to uh, get for first downs and third down situations. You have to be able to score consistently, something that the Ravens can't do. And it looks like that the Ravens still won't be able to do it as the year goes on, so we'll see. Uh, the so okay. the second topic is uh, if the Ravens need a wide receiver in the first round, and this comes from an article uh, on the Ebony Bird, and I completely disagree with the article. And um, the article states that you know the Ravens have three pressing needs receiver, offensive lineman, and pass rusher. Um, and that is true. And they think that receiver is the most important of those needs. And it strikes me because I just don't know when people will learn that a receiver is important, but you have to protect the quarterback. And right now we cannot do that with the way that our offensive line is going to be looking. And so I think you have to get a lot of offensive linemen in this draft. And I know it's not sexy. I know, you know, we all wait until the draft and watch the whole draft and then the Ravens take uh, an offensive lineman. And they did it last year. And last year it worked out. I think you have to go back to that well because right now, you know, at receiver, we do have Mike Wallace, we have Rashad Perrin, um, we definitely have Michael Campanero, Campanero. We may have Kamar Aiken. Um, we don't know. But I, those are, you know, aren't the best. But we see in New England every year, they don't ever have the best receiver. They have good receivers and they have great offensive lines. And that's when they win. They give Tom Brady time. That's what we need to do with Joe Flacco. So I disagree completely. You do not go receiver in the first round. You go offensive lineman in the first round. 
Now, it's not a strong offensive line in draft. So, depending on how the board falls, um, you know, it will tell us what we need to do. But I think that if you don't go offensive linemen, you won't get one that you can plug and play. And we need one of those, you know, to plug and play. So, you know, at the I like the website that, you know, said it, but I just don't think it's I, it's not feasible. You have to protect Joe Flacco. And you don't project protect Joe Flacco by getting a player on the outside. Um who you know who as a rookie is gonna struggle. You know, like all rookies struggle. Um, especially a receiver. So and then for the uh last uh, topic of the day, um and we talked about it a little bit. You know, on NFL Network uh, dot com, they have you know all the positions that you know the top positions that the Ravens need. So there's three for every position, and the top needs for the Ravens two weeks after free agency are outside linebacker, wide receiver, and cornerback. Um, and I'm a little surprised to see cornerback. I think we have three good corners. Who can play, but I guess they think we need another one. And they don't have offensive line, which worries me. Now, offensive line is not sexy, so I can see why they wouldn't have it. But they have also linebacker, wide receiver, and cornerback. And I agree with all of them, but the cornerback, I really do think that with three good corners, you're fine. We also have Anthony Levine, who plays that hybrid safety corner linebacker uh, role. I don't. I think that we're just perfectly fine with the team that we have, with the corner that we have. Got to get an outside linebacker to help Matthew Judon um, and Terrell Suggs. I think Judon's going to take a step up this season, but he's still young. Terrell Suggs is going to be good, especially at the beginning of the season, but he'll fall off because of his age, um, and like he did this recent year. So, um, but we'll see how it goes. I'm fairly confident. And the ability of the Baltimore Ravens to have a good defense. So, you know, outside linebacker in the corner, I'm not worried about that. Receiver, I'm worried about, but I'm even more worried about offensive line. And I, I just can't believe it wasn't on this list um, by the NFL Network. I'll, you know, put a, a link to the list in, you know, the description so you can see for yourself. Um, but I'm, I'm a little, a little surprised. So, and again, we keep these episodes short so you guys can, you know, view them and get back to your day. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I'm going to start doing, uh, you know, read a question. So please send questions in the comments um, and I'll read them. I'll put them in and I'll answer some questions with the last topic. Again, thank you so much for uh, subscribing. Please uh, watch the other videos on our YouTube uh, channel. Also, go to ravenspace.com where we have articles. Um, that keeps the lights on, so please go check that out for me. Thank you so much, and have a good one.